few months back I uploaded a video on how to make a power supply for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using a 5 volt regulator LM7805. During the making of this power supply I had to manually solder each and every wire which was really a tedious job. Later I decided to design a PCB so that the making time can be reduced. Thanks to the PCBWay company for sponsoring this video and for sending me such high quality PCBs. No doubt PCBWay company is one of the top leading companies throughout the world. So this episode is all about how to make a cool power supply for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module like the one you can see on the screen. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram of the Node MCU ESP8266 power supply. This power supply is based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the female power jake and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volts LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the ground is connected with the ground. SV1 and SV2 or the female headers. Now I will explain how to make this circuit diagram and then how to make a PCB. While the Ketsoft Eagle 9.1.0 version is open, click on the grid. Select on and click OK. Now click on the aid part and search for the Node MCU. Link is given in the description if you want to download the Node MCU library. Click on the 8 part and search for the female header and select the one which consists of 15 female headers as we have 15 pins on each side of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Right click to rotate the part and click the mouse left button to aid this part. Now aid another one on the left side. Click the escape key on the keyboard. Now click on the net and start connecting the female headers with the pins of the Node MCU module. Now search for the regulator and select the 7805T and click OK. Now add the remaining parts.
So now as you can see, all the components are connected. Now click on switch to board button to make a PCB board. Now simply arrange these components. Now click on the text and write any text you want. And then select the bottom layer. Click on the size to change the text size. Now click on the route button. Change the width as per your requirement and start connecting the wires. You can change the wire width at any time. Similarly, connect all the wires. You can also do the automatic routing, but the preferred one is the manual routing. Now let's make it a bit stylish. Click on the polygon. Click on the isolate and select 24. Now click on the spacing and select 56. Now draw a rectangle. In the signal name right ground. Now it looks pretty cool. As you can see these connections are balanced. As we said the signal name is ground that's why it's connected with all the ground pins. Now again click on the route button and start connecting the remaining wires.
Now click on the red next to update the PCB. After the PCB design was completed, then I generated the Gerber files and placed an online order. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to generate the Gerber files and how to place an online order. I will provide a link in the description. The Gerber files of this PCB design can be downloaded from the PCBWare website. Check link in the description. These are the PCB boards which I received from the PCBWay company. As you can see, the quality is really great and everything is as per the order. I am 100% satisfied with their work. If you want to get this PCB for free, then you can join my giveaway program. All you need to do is to subscribe my channel, like this video and comment. Now let's start soldering. For the demonstration purposes, I have already uploaded a very basic LED controlling program. As you can see, both the circuits are working perfectly. Now in all of my upcoming IoT based projects, I will be using the same circuits. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.